today we're going to explain why chemical reactions happen at high temperatures with the key ring atom. Very, very simple to understand. All right, let's we'll start with a pair of handcuffs. If you were going to put a pair of handcuffs on somebody's wrist, what would you do? You would open them up and you'd snap them on their wrist. All right, if you're going to put a chain together, what do you do with each of the links? You open the link up, put it in the other link, and you close it, just like that. And that is how chemical reactions happen at high temperatures with the key ring atom. And we're going to come over here and we're going to show you. All right, what I have here, this is a warm hydrogen key ring atom. This is a hot hydrogen. Now, when they get hot, what do they do? The electron rings get spread out. Once they get to a certain size, they're going to open up just like that right there. See how that's opened up? Just like a pair of handcuffs. So what happens when another atom comes along, bumps into it, and it cools off? What happens when they cool? The electron rings get smaller. And it's just like that. It's now hooked. Let me show you as it hooks in here to a cooler atom. Bingo. And that is how compounds are formed when it's hot. Just like that. All right, we just saw why reactions happen when they're hot. Now, why don't they happen when they're cold? They're closed. It's not going to work as well. It's not going to go together. Now, you could force it in. That's possible. So you still have chemical reactions when they're cold, but not like when they're hot. Now, if you compare the key ring atom to what they teach in school, oxygen, and this would be uh, hydrogen, and how they teach in school, they vibrate real fast when they get hot. Boom, boom, boom. And you got all these balls floating around, orbiting, and they bump. One of the balls gets knocked off. And now they have shared electrons. While they vibrate real fast, they orbit, they orbit, and they share. Does it make any sense to you at all? Versus this. Which one makes sense? You know what this is? It's a figment of somebody's imagination. This is easy. You know why? It's because physics and chemistry are easy with the correct geometry.